الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله We know the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam when he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Al-ilm faridatun ala kulli muslim wa muslima Or talib al-ilm faridatun ala kulli muslima kulli muslim wa muslima Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim man and Muslim woman. And prior to this, on countless occasions, we've talked about that the every Muslim has to know a certain extent, a certain degree of knowledge. Not every Muslim is going to be a sheikh or an alim or even a talib al ilm so to speak, but that they must know the basics of Tawheed, you know, Islamic monotheism. And they must know the basics of Tahara, the basic fiqh that they require to practice their religion. And I wanted to talk about, very briefly, some of the things that are obstacles, or not obstacles, but in fact, that take away, they're both obstacles and they take away knowledge from a person. Because we know when a person memorizes the Quran or memorizes something from the Sunnah, they can lose that knowledge very easily. One of the first things to not retaining knowledge is not making revision, not revising what you've learned, whether it be the Quran, so that means engaging with the Quran, reading it, reflecting and pondering it. And we know all the verses where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the importance of remembering because it benefits the believer. Likewise, the second thing in order to, or that's an obstacle, is sinfulness. So engaging in ma'asi and the noob. This also takes away from your retention of knowledge because the more sinfulness you engage in it causes a darkness on the heart so that by engaging in sinfulness this covers the heart this is masia, uh, which is the opposite of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has encouraged us to do so this also causes a person to forget as some of the salaf used to say uh, the third obstacle to knowledge and retaining knowledge is a combination of two things ikhlas sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being insincere and likewise also being not practicing that knowledge and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم